skills where everybody gets a little purse money here to open up the season at Summerside. Doc Awesome, Futures Diablo, King of Kilvin's Future, LeBeon Bell. They're on the gate, top of the stretch. Here they come. This is the start to 137 consecutive years of harness racing at historic Summerside. There they go, off and pacing King of Kensington is the first one out. From the outside, Tobin's Future towards the rail, Doc Awesome, then are racing from fourth, is Future's Diablo in the early trailer, that is Le'Veon Bell. At the eighth pole, King of Kensington for Patrick Shepard is the leader. Second is Tobin's Future, Doc Awesome racing from third, Future's Diablo's away fourth, and the early trailer fifth is Le'Veon Bell. Arriving at the opening quarter, led by King of Kensington on opening day at some Side. Racing from second and closing in on the leader, Tobin's future just 31 seconds flat was the quarter. That's Doc Awesome racing from third, Futures Diablo fourth, and the trailer. That's LeVeon Bell. They swing off the paddock, turn in straight alignment. They come towards the opening half mile in King of Kensington. Having his own way up front. Second is Tobin's future, Doc Awesome third. There goes Futures Diablo. To the outside, fourth, and the trailer is Le'Veon Bell. Halfway home in the season opener, King of Kensington. Led him to the half mile in 102 and 2. There goes Hoban's future now to pop out of the two hole, and she's on the run. She got fancy stepping big time, but she gathered herself real quick. And as they race the back stretch, it's King of Kensington, the leader. Tobin's future is second. Futures Diablo drives up to take third. Doc Awesome now fourth, trailing the field. Le'Veon Bell, they arrive at three quarters. Oh, they're picking them up and putting them down now late. In between horses, Tobin's future on the rail. King of Kensington, futures Diablo swinging out three wide for the stretch drive. Three quarters tripped in one, 32 and two. And they're homeward bound now. Tobin's future, the leader. Futures Diablo way wide. King of Kensington, Doc Awesome is coming up the rail late on the wire next. And it is Tobin's future to win for Corey McPherson. King of Kensington was second. Futures Diablo is third. Time for the mile to open up the 2023 season is 202. The what? All right, getting ready for the Universal Media slow-mo in the opener here today in Summerside. 137 years of racing, and look at this stretch drive. And, Rocky, what a way to kick it off. Tobin's future at sent off at 1-4 to choice today. <laughs> your ice-cold ice triactor to get it rolling. Yeah, Tobin's futures made a little bobble going to the 5 eighths. Don't know if she interfered with anybody, but she goes on to win this race here. Futures Diablo, nice start for him this afternoon, too, in his first lifetime start. Gets up for second, gets up for third here, actually. King of Kensington in for second, cut it all out, 31, 102, and 2, 132. And on the line, Tobin's future in 202 flat. And we'll see Tobin's future in the Woodmere Standard Ridge Winner's Circle next. There's Tobin's future making her way to the first race winner's circle. Bay pacing filly, the three-year-old daughter of Arthur Blue Chip, is off the grin from ear to ear, Dan Putnam McKenzie. 
Owned by Valley Grove Farms of Calvin Grove, the filly bred by Wendell Williams of Ellerslie. Trained by Marvin Webster, driven to victory by Corey McPherson, pacing to a maiden record this day of 2.02. Tobin's future in the first.